guys, it's Darren from Jess Media, and in the chair today we have Blues Goddess. <laughs> Elia, Blues Goddess from Finland, Miss Elia Littnan. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me here. No problem at all. It was an absolute pleasure to chat to you today. Um, I uh, reviewed your album, your lockdown album, uh, about eight, nine days ago. Oh. So what inspired you to do a, a lockdown? What was the thought process behind that? Well, uh, after the lockdown started in the spring this year, um, uh, me and my band, we were touring those days then, and then we had to stop the tour and we were forced to just stay home and not to be able to play. So after a while, when the restrictions started to be uh, a bit lighter, we had the chance to travel. Uh, and uh, so we thought about let's make a streaming gig for our fans and, and uh, make it proper one and get multiple cameras and uh, go to a nice studio to sure. make it like really nice concert. And um, so we thought about streaming a gig on the Mother's Day. And uh, well, it looked so cool and the whole vibe and everything. It was such a different time for all of yeah. us. So we thought, let's put it out, out as a live DVD and CD as well. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, an, it's an awesome CD, you know, um, and I think for people to see you, you know, in a studio, you know, and doing your thing, uh, we're in strange times at the moment. Um, everyone, you know, at some point is doing a, a live stream or a, you know, a young Chantel, she does her from the shed and she has a, a garden shed. And she goes in with her guitar and her keyboard and you know a keyboard player and they do bits and bobs and i think that's a nice way to get you guys out there you know because i think what you're you know you're doing you're spending time months and months and months writing and then going into the studio and then covid halted everything now i know that luckily you are still able to do some gigs at the moment yeah, we have a pretty good situation in that matter that we are allowed to play shows and uh, we can have public coming to the concert, but you need to have very um, uh, good like safety borders with everybody. So that's and a lot of uh, <laughs> sanitizer. <Yes. laughs> so you have to be careful with all that. And actually, you know, for instance, this week I'm playing uh, three shows and then I have one TV show. So I'm quite lucky. I feel really lucky that we can do these shows but of course there's there has been a lot of cancellations and and the shows we're supposed to do this fall have been post postponed for the next year so um well let's hope the situation will get better but like they say currently we have this second wave coming yeah. in so everybody is being pretty cautious yeah i have to say i i quiffed my hair today because on your CD you have the quiff, and I thought <laughs> you'll be quiff today, but you're not. So <laughs> you I'm know, maybe I'm, I should dis <laughs> I'm disappointed. Uh, I'm disappointed. Oh, I'm sorry. Thought, yeah, I'll quiff my hair, and we can be together. And, and oh, that's a nice, uh, nice, yes. nice hair you got over there. <laughs> oh, my God! So you're you're playing a show tomorrow. Yes, we're playing a show tomorrow. Yeah. Um, yeah. And how and how will and how will the fans? Are they super excited? to be back at a gig or... Yeah, you know, you know, of course you can uh, feel that everybody's, you know, just keeping distances and uh, and avoiding cues and all that stuff. But we played a show last week and uh, we're supposed to play that show in a capacity of 500 people. Uh, and that show was uh, sold out. But we were lucky that we we had the chance to put that show to a bigger room. The yeah. room for 12, 1,200 people. So you get the full 500 capacity, yeah. So, which is... so that was the only way us to play the sold out yeah. show to get the safety orders happening. And, and how are you? Because I know that you were unwell. Are you better? Are you... Yeah, I'm better now. I, I still have a little bit of a cough, but you know, that's the way it goes. Sometimes you get flu, you know, it's a regular yeah, flu. I actually went to, 
Yeah, I went to the corona test as well right away, kind of because I wanted to know if it's corona, then I have to be very uh, precautious about it. But it wasn't. So negative test. Thank you yeah, so much. God, yeah. and uh, just a regular flu. Uh, It'll be over with some tea and honey. So tea and honey, <laughs> yeah. is, tea and honey, the, the, the cure for everything. Because yes. I, when we were supposed to do it last week, you know, you said that you were you were sick, you know, and uh, I, you know, we would go, hey, yes, just do the interview, but you've got to protect your voice, you've got to, you know, yeah. and the studies are about you. So, you know, I, I'm glad you're better. That's uh, nice because obviously you don't want to be heading into another gig if you're still sick. No. So, you know, so what's the what is your plans for the rest of the year? Have you got more shows booked? Are you having to wait? Well, we're supposed to have this huge Christmas tour. We usually have it every year where I invite two artists come along with me on tour and we play big concert houses. Fantastic. We've done this three years in a row, but this year we have I think we have to skip it because just the situation seems a bit more harder than what we thought about a couple of months ago so it might be better just to wait and see and and uh when people are more ready to kind of go out and have fun and um so we're gonna do we have some shows here in um in october uh, and uh some smaller shows coming up in november and some private gigs and some tv shows and those are nice and we are also planning to have like a proper streaming gig on the on the day when when the lockdown live is going to be released on 6th of november so That's stay that. alert alert yes, on that yes. please uh, send me what to do is if it's going to happen send me the link and i will i will review it for you and i will put you out in uh our jace media land we Thank get you. probably eighty thousand views a month Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, so oh, we are yes. hoping we're going to get people to watch that streaming gig. So it's going to be like a record launch party with through streaming gig. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm doing I'm doing a, a, doing a live stream review on Friday with um, King King. Oh, nice. Yeah, so they are, I think they're launching, you know, some of the songs from their new album as well. And I, you know, and I think it's nice for the fans to kind of get a glimpse of, yeah. you know, you guys kind of, in lockdown in kind of free gig mode and kind of wonder you know kind of letting everybody see what your life is like because people yeah yeah rock star yeah you're okay <laughs> but, you know you're, you're 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 the same as everyone else you know you have hardships you have lockdowns you have restrictions you have you know turn commitments you have money problems <laughs> People go, yeah, you're okay, but you know, you're, you're just the same as us. You know, you're just a, a normal person with everyday worries. You know, so it's nice to kind of get your view on, you know, on the COVID and stuff in Britain just now, which is really bad. You know, they're just closing down everywhere. Everywhere's closed yeah. down. Yes, most of lots and lots of parts of England and Scotland, they're they're preventing you from going to each other's houses. You know, and stuff like this, and there's no gigs. There's been no gigs, nothing at all, since March the twentieth. Oh my gosh! You know, it's nothing. Just, there's no uh, gigs at all. I, uh, I feel really sorry for you guys there. I mean, like this, you so love the live music. You know, every time when I've I've been coming to England for ten years now, and and the vibe there is just so unique. And you guys have a long history in 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 music, rock and blues, and pop and so on so I uh, must be struggling right like yeah do you know I think and I think it's what I think what's going to happen uh, January February whenever the music scene kicks back in I think Glasgow and Scotland will be a, a wash with everyone wanting to get on tour and I think you know me as a reviewer for a, a huge magazine will be swamped with gigs on every night which is nice you know which is really nice because you know you guys have to make a living you have to get out there you have to you know you have to pay the bills and what have you you've got musicians to pay you've got mouths to feed so you know it, it's it, it's just one of these things where you just hope that in the next couple of months you know people will stay home they'll wash their hands with loads of sanitizer and everything <laughs> will be cool and we can get back to it you know and hopefully i'll get to come and see you through environment Yes, let's hope that it's. We're supposed to uh, do a tour in the UK in February, so uh, yeah, we'll, see, 
Let's hope she and I can come and chat, you know, face to face and, you know, and we can get a proper conversation. You know, this is lovely. It's neat. It's really nice to meet you and chat and talk about all things music. But it, I think it's always nice to get a, a face to face, you know, when you're in the crowd and, you know, and you're witnessing live, you know, what what your style of music is and, you know, how, the, how good the people receive you when you come on stage. Um, and that's a long, long time away. You know, it's just crazy times. It is. It is crazy so, time. But yeah, we just have to try to keep positive and uh, try to do stuff in the meanwhile that we can do. Um, we've been trying to kind of do other stuff, like we've been innovating and yeah. coming out with tea brands and. <laughs> And uh, different kind of streaming gigs for our fans. We actually did a, we had a great ch chance to make a streaming gig uh, together with the with the city of Kuopio. And uh, we went up to the, this uh, this high uh, building called Novapolis and uh, played a gig from there, 65 meters. Wow! In, in, well, in the but, you, but it must have been enjoyable for you. You know, it's amazing. It was an amazing day, really. You know, the sun was shining, and uh, we had a, uh, we had many cameras there and uh, drones, and uh, and uh, we streamed that like for free, and yeah. uh, so we had three thousand six hundred people watching it at the same time when we were, you know, streaming yeah. it. Yeah, and yeah, of course. I think a little bit less than hundred thousand have seen it already. It's on my. YouTube channel and also on, still on Facebook, you, you can still watch it there. And that was really, that was in, in June actually. And I remember that feeling, you, you know, really just to be able to play with my band and enjoy that yeah. more together. It's, it's, it's special really. I, th I think, you know, as a musician, you know, like what I say to people that I interview, for me, you know, we have a, I, I'm very lucky, you know, I, I get to review, I review music all day, every day, 10 hours a day, <laughs> it could be blues, rock, it could be thrash metal, it could be punk, <laughs> you know, and I get to review, you know, lots of music every single day, you know, whereas you guys, you know, you write the music, you go into the studio, you spend a couple of months in there, you knock a record out and then you can't do anything with it. You know, so if I'm out walking, I'll just, you know, oh, I haven't listened to Area for a bit, I'll stick it on my iPhone. Whereas the fans, you know, and, and the other privileged thing for me is because we're a reviewer, we get to see, hear this stuff months before anyone else, you know. So yeah. we, we know what's coming, we know how good the record is, or how yes. bad it is. And then we can tell <laughs> Don't listen to that record, it's a lot of rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, we, we can tell, you know, when it comes out and it, it's just great to, to, to be able to have that that kind of lead on people when you know that you've got an, a live album coming out or a stream and you, oh, I've already listened to that and it's, it's pretty good, you know. And when I was doing the playthrough, what I do is, you know, I don't even know if you've seen my review yet and if not, I can send it to you. Actually, um, I haven't. Wait, uh, I will... Um, let if once we finish you can message me and i will i will send it to you um and basically what i do is i play the full album through and then i pour myself a glass of red and then i start so i got a couple of glasses in and, and i get into the i get into the feel of the music and you know in the groove and i have a couple of sips of wine and i'm just taking away so uh, there's no there's no spelling mistakes so it's all good so we're all right um, but I, what I tend to do is I just tend to, to, I put down kind of what I feel when I'm listening to you playing the songs. You know, I don't go, didn't like this, didn't like this, didn't like this, this was great. I don't do that because it's not, that. that's a kind of put down for the artist. Because you can read it and go, didn't like it, throw it in the bin, you know. So for me, it's all about, I, I put down what I feel I'm, I'm watching when I'm on the screen. Mm -hmm. So hopefully when you get it, you'll like it. You might tell me on, you might email me and go, you're talking a pile of rubbish, good man. You know, oh, okay, you know, I'll take criticism, I don't mind. But, did, you, did you also watch the actual DVD or just, yes, to, just listen? You know, lucky, enough, lucky enough to get, you know, when, when it was sent by the PR company, we got the DVD and the album. So as yeah. I say, I do, the, I do the album first, do the playthrough, and then I do my review, and then I watch it because I kind of like to match up 
and sometimes what we might, we might do is put a song on from if we do the video today and we put a song on this is what i was listening to so it's um you know so people get a, 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 a kind of a, a, a kind of feel of what what to expect yeah you know, sure you know, when you're jumping around up there you know wasn't that guitar about people go what oh, i can't really wait to see that you know so you, you kind of try and build the momentum for people when they hear it you know people know your music you know you know how good you are and, and what you can do in the albums you, you've that you've produced but when you're doing a live there's nowhere to hide you your guitar and your band members and if there's a mistake the mistake gets made yeah. Yeah. also it, 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 it captures you and everything in your whole like oh if i go on and my quiff isn't looking right because mm -hmm. i'm disappointed at that so if you, you know and you go on and you make a mistake people go oh i heard that note being dropped so it's a nice thing that people know you're human as well that you go on and yeah. you know, it's, if it's maybe not being rehearsed right so that it's a nice thing that people get to, to see that side of you as well you know? yeah i think the fascination about live music is j just that you know because you you are there honestly what you are you've played and people receive it right away and yes. you fix it and that's it you know i think that's the beauty when you walk out and you know and you plug in your guitar and you get the buzz of the amp and it's going to be good and you come out and you start riffing away and people go Wow, that's amazing, you know, and it's just can I if you get the same as what you get on the record, people go, it was worth me paying my fifty quid for my ticket or my sixty because I really enjoyed that, you know, and I think if it's the music you enjoy, it makes it all the better, you know. Mm. So and you've got to, you've got to remember, earlier, I'm I'm an old man. <laughs> I I saw my first gig in nineteen seventy eight. <laughs> you don't look so old. Seventy eight. My goodness. <laughs> I, there was a there's a famous there was a famous um, music hall in Glasgow called the Glasgow Apollo. Mm. If you ever do a bit of music research, you can look into its history. The Beatles and people like that played there, and all you know, a long, long time ago. And my first gig there was 1978 when I saw ACDC. Oh, cool! I had long hair. I was I was like this. And <laughs> <laughs> my dad's mate was the the boss and he said get the big man down he knew i liked my music and he shoved me through the curtain and here i was with all these guys with beards and tattoos and cut off yeah. jackets and i'm looking around and then they, all of a sudden acdc came on and i'm like wow that's amazing that's just, oh, this is that was my 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 entry into heavy metal acdc finished and my dad's friend said are you um you're going to stay for the headline. And I looked and I said to him, it's quarter past nine. I've got school tomorrow. Mm -hmm. went, okay. I said, who's the headline? And he said, the Rolling Stones. <laughs> and I said to him, well, I've never heard of them, so I'm just going to go up the road. And oh, I, my gosh. And I left. And I said to him, I, I got home and my dad said, you're early. And I went, yeah, I know. I said, I saw ECDC, fantastic. Who was the headline act? I said, some band I'd never heard of. The Rolling Stones. And he went, what? I went, never heard them, so I just left. <laughs> and that was my first into music. So, you know, you, you, you know what you like. You, you get the feel of a band. And I'm sure that when your fans get the, the live, when they, when they put the... See, some people might just pick up the CD and not the live. So, you know, some people might want to wait until they see you in the flesh mm. rather than, you know, so... But they don't know what they're missing because it's a, it's a really cool... It's a cool, it's a cool lockdown stream, you know, the video. It's a really, um, you know, it's a nice setting. It's quite, um, it's quite sedate. Mm -hmm. And you're just there and you're doing your thing. And you get the emotion of what you're trying to put, come, to put across, and yeah. I must I must congratulate you. It's a really nice, um, well you. put down uh, video, uh, and I'm sure your fans will be in for a treat when it comes out in November. And, and you know, and even at that, you know, that's November. That's you know almost six weeks away, and people are like, my God, I need to wait six weeks for this damn <laughs> video. But you know, I think that's what it is. It's like when you put stuff out, people are just. I wish it was coming out now. I, I, I want to hear it now, you know. So, as I say, 
in the middle of the conversation, that's where I'm privileged that we get to hear this and go, yeah, you know, you're in for a, you're in for a treat when it comes out. So I, you know, I guess that's that would be the good thing, you know, that when it comes out, people will get the hype um, for yeah. what you what you're trying to bring across. Um, and I guess as well, if you're doing the live stream of the album, that'll be another bonus. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the plan. That's the plan. And uh, well, and of course, you can still, you know, you can pre-order the album, so you can just come to my website and <laughs> leave there. And you can we'll get post- everything out just now. Yeah, you get get all your uh, get all your shameless um, <laughs> plugging now on the website because people will. But when it goes out, it'll probably go out tomorrow. People will go, yeah, I had the big man on talking to earlier and she was plugging away in her CDs. <laughs> it's no problem. You just That's what you had to do. And <laughs> I also need to tell you that we are also planning to release a vinyl of this and it's going to be a double vinyl. So, And is it going to be blue vinyl oh. or black? I think it's going to be both. <laughs> oh, wow. I think, and, I, and you know what as well, I think that that's a big thing because a lot of people now are releasing vinyl and it's, you know, multicoloured, you know, it's it's the, the psychedelic ones and people go, wow, I need to get that, you know, because... Yeah, uh, something special. And I think, you know, in a few years' time, it'll become a collector's item because there's not a lot of people will get a blue vinyl or a yellow vinyl or a red with spots or stripes or you know or stars in it and i think that would be really cool you know so when it comes out i'll if i have to buy it i'll get a half to when it comes out <laughs> good <laughs> who knows so what is the so what your where is the gig tomorrow is it in your hometown are you traveling far i'm actually traveling almost two hours it's close to uh, to the city called Turku. Okay. Uh, it's in Lieto. It's called Lieto Plus. And there's this big hall where we're going to play. So I'm really looking forward to that gig. And uh, and uh, I don't know how many people there is coming, but I would I think there's going to be a few hundreds. Sure. So that's nice. That's really nice. I mean, like... I've missed playing live so much, and um, especially for for kind of big crowds, but meaning like with safety borders. So, of course, when you do your if you do your blues cruise and you've got thousands of people there, and I think you know some people say it doesn't matter if I'm playing to ten people or a thousand, but I guess that if you're putting your heart and soul into it, you wanna you wanna have as many people as possible to appreciate it, you know, and yeah. you know. You know, you, you you're recording your album. You're you're sitting with your sound guy. You know, and and and, and your, your guitar tech and what have you. And you think, oh, this is cool. But I guess that when you pour your heart into it, you want as many people to appreciate. You know what you've done. Yes, and, you know, of course. And yeah. Making the album, you know. So, and obviously now you've got your album. You've got your live video. You've now got your stream. My goodness, you'll be super busy. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, hey, it's everywhere. Records, videos, streams, my God! But that'll be good, though. That'll be. Yeah, uh, it's been it's been it's been relatively busy, believe me or not. But during this lockdown, it's well, I'm running a company as well, so it it has been taking a lot of time to kind of rearrange everything and organize and canceling the flights and getting the money back from the flights and you know canceling hotels and so on. So all that has been taking time and. Uh, but at the same token, we've been also innovating a lot of things, as I told you uh, about the tea brand. And there's going to be a songbook coming out as well. And that's something I've been like waiting more, for more years. Sh- more shameless plugging. Really. <laughs> Always. <laughs> and a book. And a book. My God. On my I website. Get, I, need some, um, I need to get some rewards for this. Plug all your stuff. <laughs> well, that's the only way kind of... Nowadays, uh, if you think of it, we can we don't we cannot do much of gigs and we cannot sell much of tickets. So only thing how you can really support artists is to buy some some of their merchandise. Absolutely, I think that's the thing. You know, I think in the time where you know, because you think about it, you go to a gig, you may pay eighty quid for a ticket, and yes. someone says, "I'm doing a live stream," and it's twelve pounds, and you go, "Not paying that." But you think to yourself, you would happily ring up and pay £80 for a ticket but you don't want to pay 12 quid to sit in your own home with your big telly and your bottle of red 
watching you do your thing. And I think that's just a nice way to to pay back kind of what you know you guys are going through. Yeah, everyone's struggling. It's a real hard time at the moment. But yeah. guys, you know, when you come out to play and you're doing a hundred day tour, you know, and it's non-stop and as you say, you're organizing flights and hotels and transportation and halls and catering and stuff. It's a big, big thing, you know, so you have, you've got a lot of outlay as well. So I think it's nice that people put back. So, but once you, uh, once your, your live stream comes out, let me know. Definitely. I will, I will, um, I will review it for you. And I will plaster it all over JS Media. It goes as far as Australia, it goes to America. So we have lots of people who will be able to see you and hear you as well. So Oh, we're supposed to play in Australia this year. Yeah. So oh it got cancelled to the next year and now it seems like the next year will be cancelled for the twenty twenty. Yes. It's just so hard. It's so so hard. Yeah. But you know, I wish I wish you every success, you know, and your stream and when the album comes out. Remember, drop me your email, and I will I'll send you my review of your album, and you can tell me what you think. Yeah. yeah, tell me what you think, and I can do that for you. And um, I have a glass of red, and I read it. <laughs> yeah, you have, a, have a, a nice glass of Merlot. It has yeah. to be Merlot. Merlot, okay. Yeah. A nice glass of Merlot, and then you can just run through it, and you can think, yeah, the big man's talking about this, and you can, <laughs> you can get inside my head. Yeah, you can you can get inside my head, and then let me know about the stream when that's going to come in November and then hopefully when you, if travel permitting that you get to Edinburgh next year, yes, we'll come good. through and we can have a chat. That would be really nice. And I'll buy some merchandise, you know, keep you, <laughs> keep you, keep you in the you're accustomed to and uh, we can have a chat and we'll do another little video and then we'll put it on the website. Fantastic. Super. Elia, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, Having me. I hope you do well tomorrow night. I hope the, the crowd appreciate what you do. Um, this is Darren from JS Media in conversation with the awesome Elia Littonen, who uh, in lockdown has made a nice lockdown 2020 CD and video, uh, which will be out in this, the next 6th of November. 6th of November, yes. Uh, so go buy it if you have the money. Uh, and thank you very much for your time, Elia, and we will speak to you soon. Thank you, Darren. Take care. Cheers. Bye. Bye bye.